Hello, Cancer. This is your ex reading for the 24th through the 30th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. Let's see what's going on with you guys right now. What's going on with my Cancers? Hmm. A lot of you are feeling very defensive, um, feeling like, you know, you have to hold your own, stand your ground. Um, and just keep your focus here because I feel like there's something that's challenging you right now. Um, very challenging energy, I feel, for you guys. I feel like also there are, you know, people coming at you with, you know, what they think should be or, you know, how they think something should go. And you're just like, no, uh-uh. There's something that's going on with you guys currently that is challenging you, okay? Feel, feeling very defensive about it, like you have to like, you know, stand your ground on something here. Let's see what's going on with your ex right now. Cancer's ex, what's going on with Cancer's ex? Cancer's ex. Hmm. I feel like this person is going through like they're trying to get through something right now. There's there's something that they're feeling like, you know, they need to balance out in their life. They need to you know, you know take a take a, a different approach to, maybe take a different viewpoint on. They're they're trying to figure some things out. Um, I feel like this person's going through some healing currently. And I feel like also, you know, this has a lot to do with you. Maybe they were very challenging to you in the past. And so now you're just kind of, you know, defensive about it. And you're not really trying to allow the bullshit into your space right now. And I think this person knows that. And I think that um, not only do they know that, you know, they've done something to um, offend you, to put it lightly, because I'm sure it's probably a little more than an offense. But um, they look at you as somebody they don't want to lose, like somebody that they feel like, you know, is supposed to be in their life. OK, they're trying to figure out, like, you know, what path they should take currently. OK, let's see how you view your ex. How does cancer view their ex? Maybe they need some work. <laughs> Maybe they need to work on themselves. Um, maybe this person is also like, um, you know, most of their focus is on their job, whatever it is that they do to earn money. But um, I think mostly you guys are feeling like this person really, you know, needs to get themselves together here. Okay. And I think that's what you're standing your ground on is that, you know what, hey, you know, I, I can't deal with this or you like it is right now. Something has to change here. Let's see what your ex's perception of you is. How does Cancer's ex perceive them? Cancer's ex. How do they perceive Cancer? That you're emotionally stable. Um, that you have your your shit together. Um, they feel like you're supportive, but they also feel like, you know, at this point, you're kind of taking your hands off of this situation to kind of see, you know, what improvements that they're going to make here. That you have your back turned currently um, because you're trying to see, like, you know, is, is there going to be like some improvement on your part, some work done on your part to show me like, you know, that things are changing for the better here. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. Cancer's feelings about getting back together. Hmm. I think that you are willing to, but I think that somebody really needs to um, come to grips with you know what their situation currently is and I think is a person that you're dealing with um, you want them to see the truth in this situation that you know yeah there, there's some work to be done and there's a lot of work to be done on their part is what I'm getting here you just want them to I think basically own up to their their shit yeah 
very cut and dry. Let's see what your ex's feelings are about getting back together here. Yeah, of course. They definitely want to. Um, I think that this person, first and foremost, they do need to work on themselves. And I feel like, you know, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get where you are, very stable emotionally, very stable in their life. Um, and I think they really are, you know, trying to do whatever is necessary um, to be with you. We have two aces here falling right under each other. I think this person definitely needs some healing in some form of fashion here. And I think they need to realize that and work on themselves because, I mean, you're willing, I feel, for a lot of you to give this a chance if they do the work. If they realize they even need work and do the work. Okay. Let's see how you can increase the chances of this thing succeeding. Excuse me, between the two of you. What can cancer do? What can cancer do? Hmm. I think this is seeing through the haze, seeing through um, the fog, um, basically getting clear, um, deciding what it is that you want, deciding what you want from this person, what you expect from this person. You know, deciding realistically, because this is an illusion, deciding realistically, you know, what you expect from this connection, from this person. Because if, you're, if your expectations are unrealistic, then it's probably not going to work out. Okay? So deciding what you want from them and what they can realistically um, give. Let's see what your ex can do. What can your ex do to increase the chances of this working out? I think this is them really kind of, you know, taking taking ownership of of their ish. Um, really evaluating the things that have gone on before, and realize that they need healing. Realize that they there are things that they need to work on within themselves emotionally before you guys can even you know be together as a couple. They need to face whatever it is that they are trying not to face or haven't um, been trying to deal with here within themselves. The truth of who they really are, what they really need to work on here. Okay, so let's see what the possibility is, the potential outcome of you guys um, really coming back together and making this thing work. What is the outcome, potential outcome for Cancer and their ex? The Two of Wands. Of course, you know, there is the potential that you guys will go down a path together. But I think it really depends on if this person, you know, faces their demons per se and um, realize that there are things that they need to work on, whatever that is. You know, whether they drink too much, whether they, you know, have a foul mouth, whether they are unemotional, whatever, whatever that is, whatever that is that they need to work on. But at the same time, um, you know, my cancer's working on, you know, if their expectations or coming to the realization of if their expectations are realistic. What are your expectations of this person and can they fill those shoes? Okay, so it's a combination of things um, that will determine if you guys go your separate ways or whether you go together here. Okay. 
Um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do start doing an extended version of this. And um, if the outcome is like is pointing towards you guys getting back together, then I'll pull a card for um, a prediction of when, okay? But that's gonna be in the next couple of weeks and I'll include a link in the description box when that happens and inform you guys when that's happening, okay? So my cancers, that's what I have for you guys and I will be speaking with you soon.